If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. If your business operates in multiple locations, you may want to use location tracking in QuickBooks Online Plus. To enable location tracking in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar and then click the Account and Settings link under the Your Company heading to open the Account and Settings window. Click the Advanced button in the menu at the left side of the window. Then click the Categories section to the right to activate its settings. Click the Track Locations toggle switch in this section to set it to the On position. Use the Location Label dropdown that then appears to choose which term to use for your locations. To save your changes, Click the Save button in this section, then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the Account and Settings window to close it. To manage your locations, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the All Lists link under the Lists heading in the menu that appears to open the Lists page. Click the Locations link in the Lists page to open the Locations list page. The title Locations reflects the term you selected from the Location Label drop-down when you enabled Location Tracking. For example, if you selected Properties, then the Lists page shows Properties as the title of the Locations list. To create a new location, click the New button in the upper right corner of the Locations page to open a Location Information window. Enter the name of the location into the Name field. Then check any Location Option checkboxes to apply them to the location if needed. If checked, each checkbox shows an additional option for which you must select or enter a value to enable the related Location option. To save the location when finished, click the Save button. To run a Location Quick Report on a location in the Locations list, Click the Run Report link under the Action column in the desired locations row. To edit an existing location, click the drop-down under the Action column for the locations row, and then click the Edit link to open the Location Information window again. Then change any location settings and click the Save button to save the changes. To inactivate a location, which reduces your usage, Click the drop-down under the Action column for the Locations row, and then click the Make Inactive Reduces Usage link. Then click Yes in the confirmation window that appears to confirm your choice. To reactivate an inactivated location if needed, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the Locations list, and then check the Include Inactive checkbox in the drop-down menu that appears. Doing this then shows the inactive locations in your locations list. Then click the Make Active link that appears under the Action column in the inactivated locations row. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.